so our question here is given a chess board of size n cross n so we are given a chess board of size n cross n we have to find all the ways to place n queens so that they don't attack each other so let's understand the question so here there is a 4 cross 4 chessboard and we have to place 4 queens in it such that no two of them attack each other so let's see the configuration 1 so here we see that this no one is attacking in this column here so all are in different columns so they are fine they are in different rows so they are not going to be attacked and then diagonally also they are not cutting each other okay so this is non-attacking configuration it is fine but let's see this one here these two are on the diagonal they can cut each other these two are also in the same column so they can cut each other so they are attacking so this is a cut attacking configuration so how to solve this problem and there can be multiple such solutions so we have to print them all so let's see first that what we mean by valid placement or non-attacking placement okay so we want to see non-attacking placement and here it is so we have a 8 cross 8 chess board here with 8 into 8 is equal to 64 columns uh, cells okay so when can two queens cut each other so we have to place here eight queens so queens are placed let's say one is at i comma j which means ith row and jth column and another one is kth row lth column so they can attack each other if i is equal to k that means they both are in the same row like this one so they are at 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 5 so they have same row similarly what can happen is they can have the same column like these two so it is 3 comma 2 and 5 comma 2 so they are having same column and so they can attack each other now a little tricky one is how to find the diagonal so diagonal can be like this orientation left to right and from and this way okay so these two ways are there and if we see so we will find that here like this is 3 comma 6 and 5 comma 8 so they have like i minus j i minus k the absolute value of this is equal to j minus l so which is the absolute value of difference between the x coordinates and the y coordinates if they are same so this is a attacking configuration so this is diagonally they can attack each other and they are these are the three ways in which queens can attack each other so we have to say see that okay when two queens are placed at their respective places cells so they are not satisfying any of these three criteria. so the code we will have a helper function bool place with k comma i where both are integers k and i so k tells that it is the row it returns true if q can be placed at kth row and in the ith column and we have a global array x so which maintains xk is a global array with first k minus 1 values already set and what happens like if we have x of 2 is equal to 3 so this means that in the second row of the chessboard the queen is placed at the third column okay so what we need to do is that we have that global array and we check here for j is equal to 1 to k minus 1 so we are checking all the in the chessboard so like we have a chessboard so we already have so we will check for all corresponding rows from 1 to k minus 1 and check if xj is equal to i so it means what 
we are trying to place in the kth row and in the and j we will try from 1 to k minus 1 so these are all the so we will be going from here like this j is equal to 1 to k minus 1 and we will try to place what so i will try to see can i place a queen at k comma i so i will check it with xj with i and if any of the xj's from 1 to k minus 1 is equal to i it means it they are in the same column so it will attack okay so that will be something like a q here and i'm trying to place here so they will cut i will check here also all the way from top to the k minus 1 rows okay so i will check for all of them if it is attacking or otherwise i will see based on the formula we saw mod i minus k is equal to mod j minus l so if this is also being followed then they are on the same diagonal the element so we are checking all the already placed queens in row 1 to k minus 1 so if they are in the attacking position we return false but if none of them are at the attacking position we return true so this is now tells us that can we place a queen at kth row and ith column and if we can it returns true so let's see so this is the recursive function the backtracking method which sees all the possible values so here what happens i will call n queen n queens and i will call from row 1 and n is the value so n is 4 or 8 something like that a chessboard and I will call here and what happens now for i is equal to 1 to n so it will try to place the queens in each of the rows okay so we so x here represent x1 represents the column where the queen is placed in the first row similarly x2 represents the column where queen is placed in the second row so we say that all the queens can have to be all the n queens have to be at least placed in different rows otherwise they will attack so that's why we have just one dimensional array okay so for i is equal to 1 to n so what we do if place k comma i can i place in the kth row and in the ith column if yes so i put what I put x of k in the kth row I am placing it in the ith column and now what I check if k is equal to n so if I have filled I have placed the queens in all the rows then I write the configuration that okay what are the placement of the queens otherwise what I have placed in the k rows so now I will call n queens k plus 1 comma n so it means I will be calling for the next row to place the queen in the next row so let's see how this works so what we have is so we will be starting here and try to make a systematic rule so what i do i will call n queens so one comma four here because n is four four into four chessboard we have so for n queens 1 comma 4 what we do is so first we try to place here the first queen i am moving from this way i am trying all the possibilities so first we put we make x of 1 is equal to 1 then what i do i call n queens 2 comma 4 now again i will try here so if i place so here i will call place what place i will first try in 2 comma 1 so here i cannot place because it is it will be cutting in the same column here i cannot place because diagonally it will cut so i can place it here so this will be in the second row so now x2 becomes 3 so what happens now i will call n queens 3 comma 4 so what happens it comes here it tries this place it will be cut in the same column so it will cut 
here it will be cutting diagonally here it will cut same column and here also diagonally so I cannot place it here so what happens I tried all the possibilities and then for i is equal to 1 to n I tried then I return back to my previous calling function which is I come back here so what happens I will try this next place I will make now x2 is equal to what so I try here so now x place k comma i so still I can place it here instead of this one so I this one is removed and so here it becomes x2 is equal to 4 and still and it can be placed here so what happens it can be placed here x2 is equal to 4 and now I again call n queens so now I call 3 comma 4 again but it will start afresh and here I cannot place but I can place here so x of 3 will be equal to what x of 3 will become now 2 and now what happens is I can call n queens so I cannot place here I could have placed here so I call n queens 4 comma 4 so I try this place not possible this one not possible same column here same diagonal same column so nothing is possible I return back here now what happens it will try the next thing x3 is equal to 3 so it cannot be done not valid and then this one also not valid so what will happen it will come here this was also not nothing is possible now I come back here and change this one okay so this way it will happen I come here and then so x1 now becomes 2 it calls n queens 2 comma 4 and I cannot place here so this is also removed now so I will make it clean because they are all gone now in fact they are there but they will be overwritten okay so now here I cannot put because it is diagonal wise column wise diagonal and here I can put so n queens x2 becomes 4 now x3 it calls n queens 3 comma 4 so I come here this place is fine for me so I place here and x3 becomes 1 so I call n queens 4 comma 4 I cannot put here I cannot put here but I can put here so this becomes x4 now becomes what it becomes 3 and this way one possible configuration we get and this is the only possible configuration in because again I cannot place it here so this way we can keep on going we might get more possible configuration because this loop will now again we can try out here so we can try out but this way it will happen so this is one of the configurations and you can proceed with the algorithm further so I hope you understand this backtracking problem so we backtracked several times when there was no possible solution and this is n queens problem i hope you understand and if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video among your friends thank